Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Foss and Media. So the plan today is to show you how to download videos that may not have a download link provided with them. So it's just nothing for you to click on to download the file. A couple different reasons for doing this is you may be trying to complete an online course with a dodgy internet connection and you don't want to be distracted by all the buffering or maybe just even to prevent you from being denied access to the material at all because it was removed from the server when you were halfway through your course, which for obvious reasons can be extremely annoying. And hopefully today we'll uh, be able to get around that problem. And because this way you can just download all the files that you need and then watch them locally on your own system without even needing an internet connection. So in this example, I'm using Firefox, but the same method could be used in Chromium and other Chromium based browsers as well. And to get started, maybe I'll just jump over to a browser where you can see I have the LinkedIn learning page uh, open here because there's a handful of courses and videos I wouldn't mind checking out to uh, sharp out my skills a bit. And if I scroll down a bit here, yeah, maybe I'll check out, uh, yeah, the Cisco one here. So before we download the file, the first thing we have to do is open up the developer tools but it should come pre-installed in just about any other browser. And then I'm going to select uh, Web Developer Tools. And whichever browser you're using, these tools should look pretty much the same as what you're looking at right now. And there's a couple different things, though, you want to make sure of. The first one is that the Network tab has been selected and the Media tab right here. And that way, you'll be able to filter out uh, all the media files without having to sift through all the requests of this entire page right here. So, yeah, definitely a good time saver having that uh, media tab selected there. But now that we're all ready to go with our web developer tools, we just have to find something to uh, download. And yeah, I think I'll just grab the Cisco Foundations one here. So I'm just going to click on that. And I'll have to kill this sound quick. There we go. And as you can see, that didn't take long. It uh, popped up down here. Uh, in our developer tools. So now to download it, I guess what well, I should have mentioned too, you just want to make sure that it's a media file. Uh, right here it says MP4. And I just usually have a quick look at the size too. Like this one's seven megabytes for a file that's about a minute long. So yeah, I guess that seems about right. And uh, yeah, so to download it, all we have to do is just click on it or right click and then select copy and then copy URL. Or if you don't want to just blindly copy URLs in your clipboard, you can just click on it and then copy it from here. So I think I'll just do that. And copy. And then once you have that in your clipboard, just open up another tab, uh, throw that in your address bar, and then go. We're all surrounded with... And it'll kill out sound. Sorry about your ears there. Um, but now that it's playing in another tab, to uh, download it, all we need to do, maybe I'll just pause it, uh, when it's white. All we need to do to download is just right click on it and then select save video as. And as you can see, I have test here that I just tried before to make sure this is working okay. I'll just name this test two. And save that. Shouldn't take too long. Yeah, it's already done. That was pretty quick. So if I go over to the file manager here, go to downloads. Uh, there it is right there, test two. We're all surrounded with network devices. <laughs> yeah, it looks good so far. Um, Some might have a cable that plugs here. into a wall. And check out the video, video quality, which certainly looks sufficient. And as you can already heard, we already have sound. And I think what I'll do now maybe is just skip to the end and make sure that it got the whole thing. Yeah, it looks good. So yeah, that's about it. And then say if you wanted the next video in the series, um, all you do is you go back to the other browser and click on the next video or let it play and then repeat the exact same steps that we just did. Uh, unfortunately though, you can't download the whole course in one shot. You do have to do it video by video is I guess the only downfall of this method. But it definitely works well if you're unable to find another way to download the video that you're after. And because sometimes there just isn't that download link and uh, you don't have a choice. 
but yeah, I think that's about it. Maybe just a couple final thoughts. Um, after doing some digging around, I couldn't find anything stating that doing this was illegal. Uh, assuming, of course, you're not going to be distributing the material or selling it in any way. Um, however, I'm, uh, I don't think YouTube is too crazy with this kind of stuff, though, especially videos that have to do with media files. So I'm not sure how well it's going to go over. But I guess that's one of the benefits of making these videos as a hobby. Um, I don't really need to worry about being demonetized or any of that stuff. I can just kind of uh, make videos on whatever I feel like. And that being said, if there's anything you would like to learn about and you're unable to find the material for on the subject, uh, just let me know down in the comments. And if I can help, I'll uh, post a video on it. But just trying to think of what else other details I could be missing here. But yeah, pretty simple process. And uh, yeah, if you need to use it, I hope it uh, goes well for you. And I think that's it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, bye for now.